Thanks, Andy. We're heading to Inglewood this morning. Uh, Christmas is in Inglewood. That's what Jill Bellin's talking about. And it feels like the holidays here this morning as the fire is crackling and the stockings have been hung here with great care at Dade Art and Design Lab in Inglewood. We're kicking off Christmas in Inglewood here a little bit early this morning. I'm going to head on inside as we've assembled a team of judges who are going to be uh, exploring the neighborhood and some of the designs in the windows. There is a competition involved here this morning and tonight you can actually come on down here and do some shopping. So it's going to be a great night and great weather for it too. What a beautiful morning we're having here. Hello. Hello, judges. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Some familiar faces. So, Allison, introduce us to the panel here before you guys head out on the road. Uh, well, my name is Allison Morgan. Uh -huh. uh, I live in Ramsey. I am an artist. Uh, do some exhibiting here. And next to me, John I'll let you. Uh, yeah, no, I'm. Good morning. <laughs> Hello, Councillor John Carlo Carra, proud resident of the amazing community of Inglewood, best neighborhood in Canada. Yes, best neighborhood in Canada. What an honor! And of course, Julie Van Rosendahl. We love you. Are you excited for this? I'm so excited. I'm really excited that Monogram Coffee is here too. <laughs> I know that we've got we've got the coffee going here, and and you guys are all bundled up and ready to go. Is this your first year judging, right? It's my first year judging. My name's Lonnie Starling. I'm a mom in Inglewood, and I also work for the ICA doing the distribution for the newsletters and this is hey from El Kadiki okay well, I'm nice a to see you. nice to see you too I'm a um, Inglewood based designer okay fantastic so we have a great team here assembled you guys have your work cut out for you here this morning how many windows will be taking part in the competition Ooh, I'm, I'm hoping all of the Inglewood shops um, I'm guessing there's maybe 10 I'm not quite sure I have to well when we go out we'll count them all okay and what's the criteria uh, we're looking, well, we, on, our, on our boards, we have originality, creativity, and wow factor. And wow factor. And I feel like the retailers continue to step it up every yes. year. Yes, I think so. There's a few windows out here and displays that are incredible. They have, a lot of effort has gone into it. Yep. Okay, we're going to be showing some of them off here this morning, and then tonight, what takes place? I don't know what takes place tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's really early. Cri Christmas in Inglewood. <laughs> Tonight is like the, I don't know, the, the 10th or the 12th annual Christmas in Inglewood where everyone comes out, the shops stay open late, mm -hmm. yes. people promenade along the street in their Christmas finery, get some amazing Christmas shopping in. It's like Europe. It's spectacular and looks like the weather's going to really contribute to another amazing Christmas in Inglewood. So come on down tonight. Absolutely. What do you think makes Inglewood the best neighborhood in Canada? I think it's a nice... Uh, combination of people and place and you know one of the great things about our merchant community is almost half of them live in the neighborhood yeah. so there's a deep investment in place and there's a tremendous amount of support for our local businesses by the by the community okay fantastic we're going to set you guys off on your way to do your judging duties here this morning a very serious task we're going to be hopping around some of the retailers and next up we're going to be exploring a retailer that has great gifts for guys i know that will be of great interest to ted and andy guys yeah well no i it's of interest to me because i got the guy to buy for. You do. You got to buy for your hubby. I think the difference in Inglewood compared yeah. to everywhere is in rest the. the Five, thanks, Andy. Checking in with Jill Bell, and she's just east of the downtown core this morning, hanging out in Inglewood. nine and it's going to be a great event so come on down we've got the judges who are judging the windows here uh, all the retailers are taking part and happy to be here Kent of Inglewood choosing some gifts for the lumber sexual in your life now let's talk a little bit about this term Nathan and where did this come from well uh, I think these days guys are allowed to uh, be into cool manly stuff and yeah. care about how they look so the mix of manly and uh, personal grooming comes out with a lumber sexual. Yeah, throw some flannel in there. Doesn't hurt to have a handmade axe, you know. No, that doesn't hurt at all. On your own Christmas tree this year. Which That's you fun. guys did here. Okay, so you've picked some of the top five things that uh, must have gifts for men Indeed. this holiday season. Let's start with the axe. Well, we uh, we carry handmade axes from Sweden. I think if you're going to chop down a Christmas tree, you should do it properly. You know, <laughs> it's about having the right tool for the job. And if you're going to be out in the freezing cold chopping down a tree. Maybe warm yourself up with some whiskey. Why not? Why not, indeed. Now, this flask, that's a beautiful flask, and it's sort of like Alcatraz. I'm going to open it up here. And uh, you have quite the selection of flasks, right? We do. Thank you. We do. And we happen to like it's whiskey a two -part. as well. It doesn't yeah. hurt, yeah. 
so you don't spill your whiskey, right? There you go. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Let's walk down the line here, and you've selected some other things. So we're going to stop here, and this is uh, close to locally made. Well, and this is, this is more into the uh, sexual part of the lumber sexual. <laughs> so we have a uh, handmade bow tie and pocket square from Awful Goods. <laughs> and we happen to have a gentleman's cologne made in a Scottish castle. Really? Yeah. It actually, it smells 60 amazing. 60% of the time, it works every time. I love that. So matchy matchy, you've got this, we'll call it bow tie sexual. Yeah. Sure. Might as well Why look not? good and smell good, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, and down the line here, these are made right here in Calgary. Well, one of them is, yes, we've got our Horace and Jasper DOP kit. You know, we like quality stuff, and it's even better if it's made here in Calgary. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was hand-stitched in the mountains of, uh, of Alberta. Yes. No kidding. And by then, a mountain man. By a mountain man. He's got quite the beard to prove it. And then we also have handmade straight razors. I mean, if you're going to be cool, why not shave with a straight razor? Okay, what are some of the... the best way to go about it. Yeah, what are some of the other products that you guys offer here? What's been popular? Well, a lot of guys are getting back into shaving with a brush. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like having good tires in your car. It makes the whole experience smoother and more fun. You know, you can drive without tires, but why would you, right? Okay, you also have beard... <laughs> why would you? <laughs> good point. Uh, you also have beard combs. Yeah, again, with the, with the whole lumber sexual manly thing, guys are growing beards because it's okay to have a, a rad beard, yeah. but you better take care of it. And uh, if you want to have a girlfriend, it better smell good too <laughs> and be nice and soft. <laughs> Full, full of wisdom this morning Indeed, here. Yeah. Uh, Nathan That's Ken of had England. A lot of coffee. <laughs> We've had a lot of coffee here this morning. The store is super, super cool. Come on down. All the retailers are offering deals for Christmas in Inglewood, five to nine tonight. Lumber Sexual. What do you think, guys? I think it's great. And Nathan had me at the Anchorman <laughs> quote. Sixty percent of the time, that cologne works every time. You know what? I am so out of the loop because that's the first time I'd ever heard the term lumber, met, or sexual. lumber sexual. So I think I know a few though. Oh, that's pushing it, perhaps. I love that P word. <laughs> there you go. We're checking in with Jill Bella now. She's hanging out at Inglewood. Christmas in Inglewood time, Jill. And we are getting into the holiday spirit here as the Alberta Gold Chorus is serenading us this morning. And lots of fun activities, not only this morning, but heading into the evening between 5 and 9. You can come on down here. All the retailers are getting into the spirit. Uh, lots of deals to be had. And all of the windows are so beautifully decorated. So come on down to Inglewood. Christmas in Inglewood tonight. That's the hashtag, too, by the way. And being joined this morning by Kyle of Plant. Thank you for her having us here this morning. Yeah, and no problem. You're about eight mon months into business. How are things going? Oh, business is going really well. I think we've uh, really started to connect with all, all the people over the city and uh, it's exciting to show them like really interesting plants and different things for their homes. Okay, so you have some things especially for the holiday season. Take us through some of the things you've brought in. Sure. Um, well, I've started creating, like I do every year, um, interesting holiday ornaments, uh, sort of with my, you know, terrarium theme. So we have like really sort of micro little gardens created in ornaments that you can hang on your tree or even year round. I love that. How did you get those gardens in there? <laughs> oh, it's like a, a trade secret. <laughs> there you, <go. laughs> you have magical elves working on those. Okay, and let's move down the line here because you've got some other special items here. Sure, yeah, we have interesting sort of lines of different uh, pottery made in both Canada and the U.S. Uh, so there's lots of, uh, you know, great craftsmanship happening in the store this year. Um, there's glassware um, from... Uh, Nova Scotia and also uh, some glassware made in Calgary so perfect for like unique uh, terrariums that you can create. Mm -hmm. um, we also have these great um uh, they are... Uh, living it's, moss. And, oh, yeah, the living moss. Let's talk about that. Yeah, no. don't wanna, we don't want to skip over that. Yeah, no. So here we have these little moss balls that uh, are from Japan, and they actually grow at the bottom of lakes. And so there's something that we can just uh, continue to, like, have in our homes. We just changed the water, and we have this, like, interesting green ball to look at. Wonderful. It's kind of zen. And the extension cords are new? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're from Seattle, and uh, they're an interesting way to sort of take a functional object and make it uh, much more beautiful to sit on your desk, and it can act as a lamp or a great way to sort of plug in your devices and uh, have something nice to look at. Okay, and you, of course, have all the plant material here as well, so you build the terrariums, but you can also build your own? Yeah, that's right. We have all the supplies. You know, say you want to, you know, create something for that special someone for the holidays, uh, you can come in and we'll help you out uh, to create that special gift. Okay. Okay, come on down here, check out Plant, part of Christmas in Inglewood. Thank you so much, Kyle. I just, I mean, I could shop here for days. There's so many cute things. And thanks to the Alberta Gold Chorus for serenading us this morning. You guys, never too early for Christmas carols? Nope. <laughs>
<laughs> no comment no go. from that guy. Um, more ideas still to come. Our gadget guys. 850 to... final check with Jill Bella now. She's hanging out uh, east of downtown Calgary, Calgary's oldest neighborhood and voted Canada's greatest neighborhood. Jill's in Inglewood this morning. Canada's best neighborhood and I can see why it's such a wonderful community and celebrating Christmas in Inglewood tonight between 5 and 9. Come on down. It's going to be very festive and all the retailers have decked out their stores and being joined this morning by Lisa here at the Uncommons. Good morning to you. Good morning to you too. Okay. Now tell us a little bit about the concept of the store. You've been here for a couple years and you bring in really cool items. Oh, thank you. Um, well, the idea behind the store is we're graphic designers and we love design objects that inspire and we, we look online and we, we talk to makers and designers and we try and tell their story without kind of the middleman involvement. Yeah, so every product that we have in the store has a story that, that we can tell you and break down from our candles that burn down and into a little skeletal uh, armature or produce yeah, right. candles from uh, South Carolina where they work with chemists and farmers to make them the scents smell as good as they do. And yeah, we just have a variety of things from fixed gear bikes to soap and yeah. Cool. Come on down and pick Lisa's brain. She, you've got some very yeah. cool stuff in here. Okay. Hours, so. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much for hosting us. And we've been doing a little bit of shopping around the store here. Our trusty team of judges, I'm going to sneak in here. And uh, Julie, how tough was this decision to judge? How many windows did you guys get to this morning? Oh, there were like a, probably a dozen okay. window displays. And they were all really great. Great use of, of each uh, retailer's products. Great creativity. It was really tough to, to narrow it down to four and then three and then one. But we, we did choose a winner. Okay. Drum we're, roll. We're, no, we're, not, we're, yet. we're not yet. Not yet. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're just, we're seeing some of them. So when it's all lit up tonight, that's the perfect opportunity to come on down and see everyone yeah. who's gotten into the holiday spirit. Everyone really wants to do the reveal. We're excited here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's, it, was there deliberation? Yes. Were there you was, all? Okay. There was math involved. There was a whole rating system. There were numbers. It was cold. We had to drink lots of coffee. <laughs> We have been up all night. No, we, there, was, there was, though. There was, we kind of kept going in circles, but this one has this wow factor, and this one uses their products in such a great way. It was really difficult to decide, and then we kind of kept sort of changing our mind, but we did decide on one. Now it's time. Drum roll, please. No, we, have, we have a first, second, and, and third. third. Yes, we do. Okay, let's, okay let's, let's go first with the drum roll. And first place winner is Stash, Yay. which is... On the, so they sell fantastic yarn and wool, and they, they're on the corner of 9th Avenue, just off of 12th Street. Just a really cool display, vintage and fun. They've got a bear, like a taxidermied bear and a Christmas tree, and lots of bling. It's very festive. Um, second was, was Dade, and, and Dade Gallery always does a great job. That Huge wow factor, great lights out front, giant stockings. And then Nerd and Reworks were tied for third. Mm. Uh, Nerd Roller Skates did a great job of custom uh, t-shirts with different, different like roller derby Christmas lingo on the back of the t-shirt. So you have to s sort of stop and read all the t-shirts and it's really funny. And Reworks is always, you know, they do a great work with with uh, upcycled materials so it's all sort of hand cut cardboard diorama with layers and depth and it was just fantastic they're all they're all so great it was really hard to choose one okay well you guys did a great job thank you for for waking up early with us here this morning judges come on down christmas in inglewood five to nine tonight and i want to introduce you guys to a little inglewood residence here she is this is a little bowen and i don't know I, Ted Tara, have you guys met Bowen yet? No. no. Not yet. Kelly Duty's little one. Little Bowen's brand new. Wow. I love I love the faux hawk. So <laughs> cute. Give our regards to Kelly and the whole family, please. And we buy something for us too. There you go. If you don't mind. Jill is in studio tomorrow. Kristen Hallett out on location tomorrow morning.